Today's question is, what one thing can I do to work on my car that makes sense? Well, I have a regimen I do twice a year, spring and fall, kind of like going to the dentist. So, in fact, you could make a day of it. You could go to the dentist in the morning, work on your car in the afternoon, but it's not really that bad. I do two things. I check the rubber and I check the fluids. Modern cars today are a mess under the hood. Well, actually, they're really clean and neat. You just can't see anything. But in this Ford Taurus show, actually, every fluid you need to check is marked in yellow just to make it really easy. So you have coolant, which you just need to top up. Windshield washer fluid, also which you need to top up. You have brake fluid, and this is a little more complicated. Older cars, you could just open it and make sure it's full and make sure the color is fairly clear because it degrades, the darker it gets, indication that you need to change it. New cars with ABS brakes frequently require you to pump the brakes 25 to 30 times, it's in the owner's manual, before you open it and check it. So you want to do that. To me, the most important is the oil. So when I check the oil, I have a quart handy. And once again, this Ford Tour show has exactly the kind of oil this car takes right on the cap, 5W30. I want that ready and waiting. Um, you don't need funnels anymore because they're shaped really easily to pour into it in case I need oil. You want the engine to be cold. All right, I'm going to put these gloves on just to keep clean. So you're going to take the dipstick out, you know, what you call your brother sometimes. There you go. Wipe it all the way off. Then you want to insert it very firmly all the way in, pull it out straight, and then have a look at the marker. I can see here that we have plenty of oil. So we don't need to add any. If you're about halfway down, you want to put a cord in. Now we can move on to the rubber. Modern engines make it very difficult to see or feel anything, but it's still important to look and check any rubber hoses that you can get your hands on. You're looking for wear or actual hardness. You're feeling for cracks, especially on the undersides, and you're looking to make sure the connections are all solid. The next thing you're going to look at are the tires. For safety, for rideability, and for fuel economy, you need to do two checks on the tire. One is the tire pressure. To do that, you need a tire pressure gauge. I like this one because it has huge numbers, very easy to see. You press it firmly against the tire stem and then take the reading. It has to match the manufacturer's recommended pressure. That is easy to find. It's right inside the door, right in the door jam, and in this case, it's right here. And it gives you the exact pressure recommended by the manufacturer. If you're uncomfortable filling air in the tire, just take it to a gas station and ask somebody to do it for you. The second tire test is the tread test to make sure your tires have enough tread on them. I use a penny or a quarter. I take one or the other of the dead presidents with head down, stick it in the tread, and if you can see the top of his head, you don't have enough tread on this tire, you need new tires. Last but not least are the wipers. Everything from sun to snow to salt on the roads degrades the rubber of a windshield wiper and there's nothing worse than a streaky windshield when you really need to see clearly. You should just change the wipers whether you need to or not twice a year, spring and fall. They're easy to snap on and off. You can get replacements in most gas stations. So let's review. Twice a year, spring and fall, with your dental appointment, you want to check the rubber and you want to check the fluids.